Lord of Iron, what was it like being in school and seeing the hearing on Capitol Hill? I was in uh, high school and the hearings began. I can't remember when it came. It was high school. And I remember John Hall's uh, farm, ranch in Costa Rica. They had it a lot because his thing came up because it was just the craziest thing, right? He was a total American patriot. Like, and a lot of these people are American patriots. Don't uh, like they're fanatics. They're they're crazy, right? They're genocidal maniacs, right? But deep down in their hearts, they're they're one hundred percent anti-communist cult, right? Not that communism is, is a good thing. Communism is a bad thing, right? But they're so anti-communist that they're willing to commit atrocities to prevent communism or any political party from rising up as representing even socialism right so even though they pretend to be uh, democracies coming from democratic countries they are 100 percent anti-democrats right they don't believe in democracy they're tyrannies right so when we were watching these hearings live on tv and you could see it and you you, you know you saw all the north testify you saw hall the the rancher in coast just a rancher it was like a he was like a what do you call it uh, that actor john wayne type of character right very weird but there were they they, they just showed them as being very pro-american they just went down the wrong path right they made mistakes they made mistakes the connections to nixon laos vietnam george bush senior right it it never linked up right they cut reagan they they pretended that reagan knew nothing of this right and Reagan may need, may have known a little bit, but George, George Bush Senior knew everything. Right? It was just surreal. It was just surreal. I was young, but I knew the whole connection with Iran and the hostages. And one thing that people have to really appreciate is that Reagan and Bush, in the build-up to the elections in 1980, right, 1979, 1980, the Reagan administration. Bush senior met with Iranian officials in France and made a deal with Iran where Iran would hold the American hostages for an extra 180 days 190 days and not release them while Carter was president because if Carter was able to get the the hostages the American hostages released from Iran he was guaranteed to win the elections right so the reagan and bush administration right they made a deal with iran where iran would keep the hostages for until reagan got elected and if you recall uh iran released the hostages on reagan's inauguration where he put his hand on the bible right hand on the bible and testified to god that he was hold the constitution and all this jazz and Iran released the hostages and the deal was this Iran because it was a hot potato Iran didn't want to hold the American hostages right it was it was uh, it, it didn't look good for Iran right they put him on the sort of a geopolitical bad list around the world because they allowed American hostages to be taken in their own country right and held not being released so United States had to had to really make it sweet the reagan bush administration had to make it really sweet and the deal they cut with iran was this that the reagan administration would supply iran with all the weapons that they needed indefinitely and that's where it connects up with the iran contra affair right they were shipping taking money from iran with sh sales of weapons to iran and funneling funneling it through all these black ops to be sent to black ops site operations all over the place and iran the uh nicaragua the contras were just one of the places that were laundering this money right it goes so effing deep it goes so deep to a level where carter realized that he couldn't cut a deal 
with the Iranians to get the hostages released and they actually tried uh, they conducted uh, what do you call it an operation to free the hostages militarily right so they had two I believe it was two helicopters that were flying low with US Marines going to where the hostages were being held to rescue the hostages militarily right lo and behold the Iranians shot down those helicopters the word in the Iranian community was that Bush senior gave the flight plans to the Iranians so they knew exactly where the hostages were what the flight plans were for the helicopters and shot them down and that's how they were able to shoot them down so the Reagan Bush administration gave the flight plans of Navy SEALs or whatever operative US military operation to the Iranians to make sure that Carter could not rescue the Iranian the American hostages from Iran guaranteeing that the Reagan Bush administration would win the elections this is something that I've known in the 1980s when I was in high school when coming out of elementary school you heard all the Iranians family friends of Iran everybody knew everybody knew meanwhile you watch TV and that's where I realized corporate Western media in elementary school high school I realized corporate Western media is pure garbage lies 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 because I could hear what was really going on and you would watch TV and the TV would spew garbage and this is something that got confirmed by the way by um, uh, what do you call it uh, uh, Scott Ritter right I was watching an interview with Scott Ritter and Scott Ritter was saying I used to believe Western media I used to read all these papers the Economist New York Times and stuff like this and then I got involved with the weapons inspections in Iraq and with the UN and I knew exactly what was going on right and this is in 1999 I think he's this happened and I knew exactly what was going on right and then I would read all these newspapers and all these magazines I was watch the news and I would read the stuff and this was completely false everything they were reporting was garbage it was lies 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 and that's when Scott Ritter had an epiphany going oh my god Western corporate media is lying about everything because he knew exactly what was going on about this one thing that they were reporting which was all bullshit and that's when he realized that for the last 30 years that he's been reading all this stuff the Economist New York Times Washington Post all this stuff he realized that if they were lying to him about this that he knew everything there was to about it then the odds are they were lying to him about everything else and that was Scott Ritter's awakening right in 1999 I believe he said that me I had the awakening in the 1980s because they were reporting about a country that I came from and I could hear the elders talking about what was really going on crazy and people to this day right now still watch Western corporate media read the New York Times read the Washington Post read the Economist read foreign policy read all this stuff coming out of think tanks and stuff like this and they think they're telling them the truth on effing believable on effing believable right unbelievable lark bark on sensor tube like the song from the 80s lies from the thompson twins lies 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 yeah 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 it's 